had had the idea to do um, to do a musical about Mormons. And I bumped into Matt and Trey at, a, at an Avenue Q performance. They were there seeing it. I didn't know them, but they were my heroes, so I grabbed them. And we had a drink, and, um, and they asked me what I was doing next because they really liked Avenue Q, and I said, well, something about the Mormons. And they said, that's crazy because that's what we've been wanting to do. And they said, let's do it together. I am to show my collection at Bryant Park for the very first time. just walking into the tents that morning and just seeing my name on the door or you know it was just kind of amazing and then when they do the the run through and just you see the, the big logo and the lights go on it's just kind of a, takes your breath away. Uh, when we launched Timeline we did it at our developers conference which is called F8 and to see Mark up on stage talking about the thing that we had built and to have that be the centerpiece of you know, something we only do once a year. Um, that was a pretty big aha moment. When I was actually in kindergarten, and we had uh, Apple IIe computers and very little supervision. And I wrote a program that was really simple. It was 10 print Hillary is great, 20 go to 10 run. And I had one of those moments where I realized, like, here was something awesome. Plus, that put the computer in an infinite loop, and my teacher couldn't figure out how to get it out, which I thought was utterly hilarious. The life and comedy thing was always the dream, because I was, as a kid, I was funny, and I would always get in a little bit of trouble in school for being funny, so the whole thing was like, wow, if I can... If I can do this for a living, this is going to be really awesome, you know? When I was in sixth grade, I was flipping through magazines and I saw some advertisements that I really liked. And so I took an X-Acto blade and, and, and sliced them out, started pasting them up on my wall. And uh, ever since then, I knew I wanted to work in advertising. So I remember uh, the first day that we opened the site and no one signed up. It and we waited a week, and I kept saying to Guy, who's my business partner, it's going to come, it's going to come. And then we got two one day, and we got four, and then the next day, boom, 30. And we were excited. Three days later, we got 200. And I remember when that happened, and my heart was beating like that. And, of course, your mind then rolls straight to having hundreds of thousands of people at your event. But that was probably the moment that I knew that Tough Mudder was going to work. So my whole life, I, I knew that I was going to go into a field that had to do with social justice and sort of volunteering and taking action. Right now, we're running a Teens for Genius campaign that I helped create with, with my boss, Nancy Loveland. And knowing that this year we'll clothe a third of all homeless people in the U.S. is amazing. And so it's those kind of impacts that make me know that, that I'm doing a good job. You remember strikes, I think, as much as you remember your first kids being born, <laughs> you know? Many people kind of gave up on us and thought that we could never be organized. And, you know, 15 years into our work, for our brothers and sisters in the labor movement to say, we don't care what the labor laws tell us. You know, if the workers say this is a union, then this is a union. And so it gives us a sense of solidarity and resources and, you know, political leverage that we've never had in 15 years. And it was just, it was a, fun, you know, it was a phenomenal moment. Yeah.